Welcome to match week 7 of the Skybet Championship where co-leaders Middlesbrough put their new striker Chuba Akpom in the starting 11 against Huddersfield and he supplies the assist for Brit Asombalonga to open the score. The Terriers react via Fraser Campbell but a penalty foul is a perfect chance to equalize. However, Pritchard misses. Goalkeeper Marcus Bettinelli is unable to keep a clean sheet though because Ajax Loney Cuddle adding scores right after the break and Borrow go looking for the winner like a bunch of raging bulls. Ben Hamer denies Chuba Akpom his first goal and in added time both Brit Asombalonga and Lewis Wing are stopped by Hamer. Hamer is the hero today but Sunderland are unable to take advantage of Borrow's draw. One header from Wayne Rooney leads to Derby County's first victory. Jason Knight is the goal scorer and match winner in Derbyshire. Watford go behind against Stoke City because of Gregory's pressure on the defense and Man United low knee James Garner hits the bar. Stoke are denied the 2-0 by Ben Foster but again Pressure on the Watford defense creates a goal. It's Oakley Boot who punishes the Hornets. Troy Deeney and Glenn Murray come on for the second half and Deeney pulls one back from the penalty spot. But how about this from James Garner? A fantastic finish on his debut. But sadly it's Stoke City who leave Vicarage Road with 3 points because Nick Powell beats Foster with 15 minutes left to go. Stoke are now 3 points away from the top of the table. Swansea get next to Watford with a 3-0 win against an uninspired Millwall side. Captain Matt Grimes opens the score, Andre Ayew scores his third of the season and Jamal Lowe bags his first goal as a Swansea player after leaving Wigan Athletic. Nottingham Forest use a different lineup than last week but still it's Luton Town who take the lead via Elliot Lee. Jack Callback is denied but newcomer Harry Arthur does find the net. However again it's Elliot Lee who puts Luton Town in front. A great goal but this one from Lewis Graben is equally fine. His first of the season at last. And Graben is nicely set up by Samba Sao to fight his way to the 3-2 and victory for Nottingham Forest. Reading wastes the chance to get next to leaders Middlesbrough because the Royals lose 2-0 at Preston's Deepdale. Jaden Stockley scores both goals. And Sheffield Wednesday go 2-0 up against Coventry City with goals from Elias Kachunga and Isaiah Brown. An easy win looks possible for the Owls but Amadou Bagayoko pulls one back and provides the assist for Callum O'Hare's equalizer in added time. One point each. And also Blackburn Rovers against Oxford United ends in a draw. Matty Taylor and Danny Edgy put the use 2-0 up. But the inevitable Adam Armstrong makes it 1-2. And Blackburn's prodigy Tyrese Dolan has the final say at Ewood Park. It ends with 2 ball. Plenty of goals in Norwich City versus Cardiff City with Timo Pugi opening the score. But a controversial slide from Junior Hoylet knocks the one all over the goal line. Junior Hoylet heads in the next one as well. And the 1-3 goes to Kiefer Moore. Zemislav Plaketa misses the 2-3. And at the other end Kiefer Moore heads in his fifth of the season for Cardiff City. Jordan Hugill narrows it down to 2-4 and although Plochetta scores his first for Norwich they lose their maximum at home. It ends with 3 against 4. The South Coast derby between Bournemouth and Portsmouth starts with a fine goal from Marcus Harness but Lewis Cook determines the final score. 
it ends with one all at the Vitality Stadium in a nice derby. Nagy Wells is the hero for Bristol City with an assist for Jamie Patterson and two goals for himself against Queen's Park Rangers, the last team that he was loaned out to. George Thomas pulls one back for the R's, but they lose again. And finally, a first win for Wickham Wanderers thanks to Fred Onyedinma, who opens the score before Ogbene makes it 1 all for Rotherham United. But Alex Samuel finally gets Wickham up and running after seven games, zero points turned into three. See you next week. Peace.